I want to build on some of this material, so, but let's do a quick review. Let me borrow you, Mike. So I'm going to go just the lower body posture first without the hands, right? If I'm relaxed, go ahead and bring a leg up. Pretty easy for him to bring a leg up. Go back. So first thing I want to do is, as I go for closed guard, pinch my knees together and get my heels down so my hips are off the mat. And then I'm pulling my shoulders back a little bit so I have good base here. Now as he goes to get a leg up, go to get a leg up, good. I can feel him, go back, I can feel him shifting his weight to this leg so that he can make this one a little lighter to stand up. That's necessary for him to, to do it. So as he goes to do it, go. I'm gonna make that motion. Now this, I've had a, a hard time teaching this to a lot of people because it's, it's a little bit tricky. So let me see if I can break that down better today, okay? So I'm going from this posture. The first thing you have to do is identify which way they're, sh they're shifting. So close your eyes and just have them bring a leg up and you can feel which way their head's going, right? Go back. So as his head's going this way, I wanna put as much weight, go back, here as possible so it's hard for him to, yeah, I want to put as much weight onto Mike's left leg so it's hard for him to shift his weight to his right leg. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to make my left knee heavy, okay? And I kind of relax my right leg a little bit. So now as he tries to shift his weight, it's difficult. Not impossible. Most people will still be able to get a leg up, but it's difficult. So if he's moving his head this way to make this leg light and stand up, I'm kind of twisting this way and I'm loading, my hips are off the mat, so what that's doing is loading the weight back onto this leg, onto the leg he's trying to, to raise up with, right? So one more time. This becomes important not just because it makes it hard for him to stand up, but the harder it is for him to stand up, the more energy he's gonna have to use, the easier it's gonna be for me to sweep and submit, right? So I feel him go to bring a leg up, I do that. He goes the other way, I do that. Okay, you just gotta kinda feel it at first. Make sure you keep your hips off the mat. Keep going. And again, the earlier the better. So as soon as I feel his weight start to move, that's when I shift, okay? Try it back and forth, if you have problems, raise your hand. Okay, let's try this real quick. Person on top, don't take your hands off their body. Go ahead and get in their closed guard. Person on bottom, close your eyes. Now the person on top is slowly, like maybe 20%, going to shift their weight and bring a leg up. And as they shift their weight to bring a leg up, I want you to point at the knee that they're gonna raise up. Keep your eyes closed, just so you can feel it. Okay, go ahead. Point at the knee you think is gonna come off the mat. As soon as they get it correct, try the other, stop and try again. And if they're answering correctly, get a little sneaky. Maybe fake them, 